Hi friends, I'm asking for your help. I'm the founder of Fair Welcome. I think you should go and follow our work where we help refugees at Lesbos. Right now I'm in Copenhagen. Uh, I can't do much from here, but I'm trying to organize and help everybody that is still in Lesbos to tell them where to find uh, extra clothes because we have a lot there, but we are still missing a lot of things and I'm trying to to pull some strings while I'm in Copenhagen before I'm going back to Lesbos. Today we send it off a plane and somebody will take care of that down there, but we are still in extremely need of emergency blankets, sleeping bag, tents, um, and for all the guys who are rescuing people, they're coming more and more every night. Um, and it's totally dark unless the moon is up. So we really need some uh, emergency blankets for the people who come on shore. And some uh, night vision goggles or binoculars uh, with a night vision. Uh, because it's, it's actually impossible to see where they're coming and from where and with uh, which speed. So, um, there is no NGOs down there, there is nobody to help, there is just the volunteers like myself. Um, and, and this is tough work, so please, please help us, think about anybody who can help you, who has the connections for emergency blankets, small tents like festival tents, you know, you can put in a whole family in tents like this, but they will still keep the rain out and some of the cold out. So this is so important um, and the best is that you put some money into this program because then we will buy the things at the Greek island or in Greece at all because the Greek people they are taking a lot of like thousands and thousands. So since I left Lesbos, which is like I think two weeks ago, now there's coming in almost the doubled so we are up to like it's not it's it's more than 50 boats a day and on a boat they're supposed to sit 25 people but the um their um, human smugglers from turkey they're putting on up to 75 people so they don't they can't take a lot of waves on sea unless they're falling in the water. I can tell you, they're frightened of the water. They're frightened of the night. They have been fleeing for months and months. So can you imagine how it is to be falling in the water in a, a rescue life guide west that is too big? I mean, a lot of people every night are drowning. It's not funny to find the life guide west on, on the sea with nobody inside or the face turning down, turning them around and see they're not alive anymore. I mean, this is the, this, this work we're doing, this is about life and death. This is really important. I really, I beg you, please share some money and share fair welcome on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever. Just share the things we're doing so we can help people not dying. They have a life that is tough enough. So thank you. I will, I will put the, um, the donation uh, website down here. And thank you for your help.